So how do you make sense of a solar eclipse then? Well, it's, it's very easy. The moon moves in front of the sun, just the same as it does on a heliocentric model, what? except except um, the moon, you'll never see the actual physical moon silhouette going in front of the sun. And also uh, there's major problems with it because the moon, the moon is claimed to be 2,160 miles in diameter, which is like almost as wide as um, America. <clears throat> but the shadow that it casts is like only a couple hundred miles wide. So I, I challenge you, go outside and use the sun and cast the shadow with an object and have that object shadow be way smaller than the object. It won't happen. Won't happen. And whenever we see an eclipse, it sure looks like a circular object is eclipsing it, but no one has ever seen the moon approach, eclipse, or um, or exit the face of the sun. We just see, I say, missing sun. Now, in our in in my app in the eclipse section, I have um, one theory, and I, I I made a model showing that um that the that the eclipse could happen where the moon is behind the sun. 